Hello there, Whipper here, and today I'm going to be showing you a mod called the More Explosives Mod, and yes, it's that time of the year again, it's explosive time, woo, and it might not look very explosive, just a chest in front of me, under a sign, but this chest is actually a really powerful explosive, and as soon as I open it, the whole world will explode. No, actually, it's just, just a chest, but that's basically just because I want to show you the most important thing in the mod, really, if you're playing this in survival, and this is the destruction book, and basically, I'm going to use this as an excuse so I don't have to do all the crafting recipes, because in here... Well, actually, not in here. There appears to be nothing in this chest. It's the most pointless chest in the world. But in my inventory, anyway, there's an instructions book. And if I right-click this, like that, you can see we've got an instruction manual thingy, and it tells you everything about every item in the mod. So yeah, that, that's all you need to know, really. Um, but anyway, so here's the instruction book, and you can actually find the crafting recipe for the instruction book in the instruction book itself, which is kind of pointless, but we'll go with it. So to craft an instruction book, you need all of this stuff, and then you get this most important thing in the mod. And basically, you can just go through this, like that, and choose any item and see how you craft it. So here we've got like a lava bomb, and this is how you craft this. And then if you want to know how to craft C4, you click on that, and boom. So yeah, there's no point in me really showing you the crafting recipes, because you can just easily use this and find everything you really want to know. But now we've got that out of the way, I can actually show you some explosives, which is probably what you all came for, really, to see things blow up. So over there we've got a house. So I'm going to start off with the missiles because they're the most fun ones and I've got some coordinates for that house which I need to go and get first. So I'm just going to go over here and we're going to memorise the coordinates for this thing because we're going to need them. So we've got 99, 76, 205. So we need 99 and 205. Remember that people, although you're not going to be able to tell me, but we'll just go with it anyway. So anyway, the first one I'm going to show you is the missile, well the just basic missile. So if I place this down, you can see it's got a cool little render. Is it actually black or is that a shade of bug? Let's me turn that off and see. Yep, it actually is black. We're okay. Just wanted to check that I wasn't giving you misinformation. So anyway, once you've got this thing placed down, looks like a missile. You just right click on it with nothing in your hand. And then you can put in the coordinates. So it was 99205, I believe. And this is where everyone in the comments is shouting, no, no, those are wrong. Anyway, the missile is going to fly up into the air. Look at all those particles. It's brilliant. And then I'll just go into F1 view so you can see a better view. It's going to come down and hit that house. Well, we hope it's going to hit the house and not completely miss, but if it's that house, it's going to be spectacular. And here it comes. <laughs> Boom! And bye-bye house. Look at the mess that's made. Wow. Well, actually, I was expecting it to be more explosive than that, but it just, like, knocked a few windows out and the roof off. You know, that's, that's something you could repair fairly easily, but we're going to try and make it worse by setting more missiles in its direction. So next up, we've got the lava missile. Now this one is going to just put lava everywhere wherever it lands, so we're just going to put in the same coordinates again. 99205, was it minus 99? I can't remember. Uh, wait a minute. No, it was a 99, we're all good. So here we go, it's in the air again. And it should come down directly on the house and fill it with lava, so we're going to make like a lava house. It's going to be cool. So here it comes. Da -da -da. No, I can't do that again, that's got old. It's quite a while for the missile to come down, but when it does come down, it's really spectacular. So here it comes. Let's see what it does. Boom! Look at all that lava. Okay, that house is now beyond repair. I'm not sure you can get rid of all that lava to fix the house. It might be quite difficult to do that. Uh, but now we've got some, like, glitches because of the shaders, but that's not necessary. Um, but next up, we've got the really, really big one. This actually, um, which one should I do? They're both really destructive. I'll just start off with the nuclear missile, I think. So I'm just going to place this down. And, wow, it's actually hovering on top of some tall grass there. But if I right click on it in the same coordinates again, because we really like big explosions in the same place, uh, we're just going to really destroy this house. I mean, there's practically nothing left of it already, but let's just make it worse. And here it goes again, straight up into the air, and it's going to slam down and blow up a massive area. In fact, I'm going to be flying for this one. You're going to see how big this crater is and how amazing it looks. Unless the lava absorbs the explosion, I didn't think of that. That might be the case. Oops, uh, let's see if that happens. It's going to go straight through the lava. Oh, lag. I think it has worked, otherwise we wouldn't be getting lag. And there we are. It has loaded, and look at the size of that crater. Well, no, never mind the house. Everything around the house is gone. I mean, look at... Even my star area is gone. It's completely annihilated everything in its path, and oh, there's a cave there, um, that's not, and there's a weird, like, fog, as you can see where the fog's starting to form at the bottom, it's that big. I mean, this is the best looking crater I've probably ever seen, and look at this, it's like a meteor has come down and crashed into the ground, and whoa, what is that of, hmm, uh, that's probably a biomes of plenty, or actually, but we'll just go with that. So, that is the really powerful nuclear missile. I might have to move to a different area to show the next one because I think that's pretty much destroyed and you're not going to be able to see any of the effects of the other missiles. 
So now we've got the explosive fragment missile, and this one's kind of misleading because when it comes down at first you're like, oh it doesn't really do much, but then you get the after effect kind of things, and no, not the program, the explosive. So I'm just going to right click on this, hmm, actually we need these coordinates because we want them to come down here, so we want 34 and 328, so we're just going to put in 34 and 328 there, and now the missile should come down straight on top of us and explode us to bits, and that should be really lovely to look at. So it's going straight up into the sun, never stare at the sun, that's a really bad idea. I don't know why I'm doing it. Ooh, the sun, it's so bright. Anyway, here comes the missile. And no, we're not going to be doing the Jaws build-up suspense thingy. Here it comes. And slam! See, it's like, oh, nothing happened, and then boom, look at all those blocks everywhere. And it just, the blocks just annihilate like, everything, explode, they're like loads of mini explosions flying everywhere. And you can see... That was a lot more destructive than it first seemed, but you see it just lands and spreads out loads of explosives, and the explosives ruin all the landscape around it. It's brilliant. Um, but next, last but not least, we've got the anti-ballistic missile, and I can't figure out how to use this one for now, because when I right-click on it, nothing happens. Before we go on to all the other items, I'm actually going to show you something I forgot to mention about missiles. So if I place down just a basic missile here, and then find the coordinates I'm in at the moment, so minus 148, 336, uh, so minus 148, 336 like that and launch it and then go to this item here which is called a radar and then right click on it you can see we've got like a white dot here and this is the um, missile that's going to come in and attack us so it's going to come down now and you can see we've got a little blob, blob there where it's going to come down and this is just basically a way to see if any of your friends have set up a missile that's going to blow up your base although there's really nothing you can use this for I mean there's no way of stopping the missile so yeah you're just going to be able to know when your house is going to be in destroyed in advance. And you can see now the missile's gone, there's no white dot on the radar, and that's kind of cool. And also we've got this item here which is called a flare. So if I go to night time now, now these are really cool, they look really beautiful as well. So if I just right click with the flare and look in the air, and that rhymed, woo, you can see we've got like a red particle thing that's spinning around like a star, and it changes colour and then goes down to the ground. And when it lands on the ground, I think it's really cool how it bounces around like that. Look at this, like a ball of particles just bouncing around. I'm presuming this is because it's an entity, but you can fire it in the air like that, and whoa, they're, they're really nice colours, they look awesome. I recommend using these in the night time though, because they just look better. You could like spam loads of them in the air, and for some reason they glitch out occasionally, but yeah, they just fly up in the air. And there we are, those are the lovely flares, so yeah, they, that's those. So I now I'm find myself in the tropics to show the next set of TNTs. Now we're just going to blow up this lovely place and it's very scenic, but it won't be of the future after I've set off loads of C4 and destroyed the whole thing. So anyway, we're just going to place down this C4 here, um, and then detonate it hopefully with this flint and steel. Here we go. Uh, it's going to explode, Ho well, hopefully it explodes, if it does nothing I'll be very, just, not impressed. But here we go, so that's the first explosion. Kind of a small explosion compared to what we've just seen with the missiles, so that's the C4. Uh, but we've also got something called the bundled C4, which is basically loads of C4s compacted into one block. So if we detonate this, it should be a bit bigger than this. We're just going to start off with the small ones and gradually get bigger. So here it goes, and whoa, we've got an explosion of like six more C4s. And these are all going to explode and make a bigger explosion. Boom, yep, that's more like it. And look, a nice lovely ravine. So that's, that's kind of cool. Uh, but next up, not doing the nuclear explosive because that's going to be huge. We're going to be doing the time bomb. So, you can probably guess what this one does. It's just a bomb where you can set the time when it detonates, so I'm just going to place it down here. Then right click on it with nothing in my hand, hopefully. What have we used? We've used the C4, so we can get rid of that. So I'm just going to right click on this, and then set a time for it to detonate. And because we're impatient, we're going to do 10 seconds. And here we go, it's going to say time until detonation. And this basically gives you time to run away, but we're not going to run away. We're going to watch the bar get to the end, and then it's going to explode. Woo! Then we'll have to reach the end, and... Boom! Actually, that was a bigger explosion than I anticipated. That's, that's quite an impressive one. I thought it was just going to be a normal TNT explosion, but nope, it's a huge one. That's kind of cool. Uh, but next up, yeah, let's do the tunneling explosive. So we're going to place it by the cliff, hoping it's going to go in the right direction. Uh, that's going to go down, I think, because the red is where it's going to go. So we're just going to detonate this, and it should go downwards. I'm hoping. This is where it goes sideways and I look like an idiot. But here we go. Yep, it's gone downwards. And it basically just mines um, all the blocks around it in a 3x3 three three area, I think. So there we are, it's facing down again. We can dig further down. I'm going to detonate it and here it goes. So there we are. It just drops all the items that it destroys, which is kind of cool. And it's useful for digging straight down or horizontally because you can also place it horizontally like that. Wait, horizontal. How do you place it horizontally? Yeah, like that. And you can detonate that and it'll go sideways. So you can use this for strip mines and stuff. 
and it's really cool. And this should build a massive hole under the ground there. And well, we actually um, destroyed all the grass there. That's, that's kind of cool. Uh, but next up, we've got the one you've probably all been waiting for, which is the nuclear explosive. So we're just going to go to an area which hasn't been destroyed already, and then just completely annihilate it and make it horrible. This probably should be similar to the nuclear missile, so you're probably going to be seeing that size of an explosion again, but in a different location this time. We're going to be seeing trees annihilated. Should be kind of cool. So we're just going to stand here and wait for the massive explosion. Oh, here we go. The lag ensues. So here we are, it's all updated and it looks like we've let the um, ocean, we've broke like a dam and there's water going down into this crater now. And whoa, look at how awesome that looks. Look at that waterfall there, it's brilliant. Could have, have done it in a better location and damn shaders with your glitchy water textures. Hopefully that'll be fixed in the future, but you can see all the water coming down there. So now I'm just going to show you the fuse and the detonation cord. So first up I'm going to start off with the fuse. And the fuse basically allows you to set off TNT which is far away. And so you can retreat to a safe distance before exploding it. So this is how you place down the fuse. And it's basically like pipes off some of the Technic mods you've probably seen. So yeah, and you just put like C4 at the end there. And then you set up this fuse alight, like you would in real life, using a flint and steel or redstone if you really wanted to. So I'm just going to set the block next to it. You can't set it on fire directly, you have to put it next to it. You've got loads of cool particles and then it's going to reach the end and it can set off the C4 like that and then the C4 is going to explode and boom, brilliant. Uh, so yeah, that's the fuse, kind of useful. And it can also set off multiple things at once so you could have it like going off to the left and like that, like a little junction kind of thing. Uh, so if you've ever used things like copper wire in some of the Technic mods, you can do it like that, which is kind of cool. But next up we've got the detonation cord, which is a bit more interesting than the fuse, because the detonation cord is just basically a fuse that explodes as the fire spreads along it. So I'm just going to set down some detonation cord here, and then if I set a light this, you can see the whole thing explodes in one go, and carries the like explosion all the way along to the C4, which also detonates. And again, you can put this in going around corners like that, and then we can set it off, a nice lovely explosion there. Uh, but now onto the next set of TNTs. So next up are the smoke grenades. So I'm going to start off by showing you the basic white smoke grenade. So I'm just going to throw it down like that by right clicking and it just flies around the ground and then it's going to stop hopefully and then you can see we've got smoke everywhere where it stops and whoa look at all those particles. That's insane. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to look with um, YouTube's video compression which makes particles look weird but you can just see that that looks, well, you know, you're not going to be able to walk through that and see anything. Uh, but next up we've got the blue one, so we're just going to fire that over there and this should explode in a lovely blue particle effect, like that. And if we walk in this you just can't see a thing, it's just pitch black and a bit blue and yeah, it's really devastating if you get lost in one of these smoke grenades. Fire this in someone's house and they can't see anything for about 30 seconds, it's brilliant. Then I'm just going to fire off the rest of the colours all in one go and see what it looks like. So we're going to fire a red one over there, yellow one and a black one. And a... what have I missed out? Have we got everything? Yeah, yeah I've got everything. And look how awesome that looks. So we've got green, red, yellow and black over there. And these are all the smoke grenades. But so they're not really explosive. They're more particle explosives really. So they explode particles I guess you could say. Uh, but next up we've got the bomb. So if I'm going to fire over there and see what this bomb does. And it's basically, I think these are the bombs that come out of the, uh, I can't remember what it was called now. What was it called? Uh, I can't remember what it, it was. one of the missiles, wasn't it? Yeah, it was explosive fragment missile. So it looks like the bombs are the things that fire out of the explosive fragment missile and throw, like, go over the environment. So yeah, these are the things. And you can fire them everywhere and they explode on contact. So you can fire these at other players and mobs, I think. Sorry, horse, I've got to try this out for science, but I'm going to fire this bomb at you and see what happens. Yeah. When it hits any mob, it explodes on contact. Uh, oh, I missed the horse. Oh, well, that horse is destined to live, obviously. Uh, but next up, we've got the water bomb. And it's probably going to be the same as the other bomb, but with water, I'm presuming. So I'm just going to fire over there. And yep, we've got a lovely ball of water or sphere, or whatever you want to call it. What about if I fire it in the air? Does it explode in the air, or does it wait until it hits something? Yeah, it waits until it hits something before it explodes, which is kind of cool. So we're going back to Alpha Minecraft to show off the next explosive. No, I'm joking, this is just Origin Valley. And before you ask in the comments, this is the Biomes of Plenty mod. You should definitely download it. It just looks so awesome, you should do it. All the biomes are brilliant. Uh, but here we go. So the next explosive is the Molotov. So you've probably all seen what Molotovs do. I'm just going to show you anyway. So expect loads of fire. Yep, everything's set on fire. And why did I set it on fire not by a sheep and in the forest? I mean, I like sheep. They should never never kill sheep. Sheep are awesome. Um, and also don't set it off by forest because it's just going to spread everywhere. Then again, 
I was, I'm just saying it's going to spread everywhere because it is an alpha boom. And if anyone remembers in alpha, the fire was insane. It just spread everywhere. It was really cool. Uh, but next up, we've got the landmine. And if you ever stepped on a landmine in real life, you probably know what it's going to do. Anyway, so this is the landmine. If I stand on top of this stupid idea. Actually, chicken, you come here. Come here, chicken. You're going to stand on this landmine. Come on, chicken. I'm pushing you. Get on this landmine. Boom! Yes! Thank you, chicken. You are my guinea pig there. Well, you're a chicken, not a guinea pig. But you can see as soon as you step on it, it just explodes. And it's a brilliant explosion. But now we've got an anti-personnel mine. And this is probably going to be the same, I'm thinking. Whoa! Okay, I just heard loads of arrows. This one looks like it also fires out arrow barrage around it. So here we go. We've got an arrow barrage everywhere. And it just goes everyone. Whoa, look at all those arrows. I'm guessing you could collect up the arrows, though. And for some reason, I'm really lagging with all those arrows. It's all the entities. It's just too much for my computer to cope with. Um, so yeah, there's, that's the um, anti-personnel mine. So next, I'm going to show you something called a blasting cap. So I'm just going to place down a blasting cap here, here, and here, for example. And if I right-click on the blasting cap with my hand, and I'm sinking into sinking sand, aren't I? Damn, sinking sand. <laughs> that was just random. I was just sinking down while trying to type something in. But anyway, you could type in a frequency. So I'm going to put 100. And then if I go over to this one and set it off 100, and for just an interesting thing, I'm going to set this off at 100 and, well, 10, 11. We'll put it on 11. Um, that one actually might detonate that one. I didn't think about that, but we'll just go with it anyway. So if I then detonate um, 100, put the frequency in, and click detonate, those two will explode, but that one did also because it was too close and it just it got exploded by the other ones anyway. But the point is, if that one had been far enough away, it wouldn't have detonated and the others would have. And that's how you use the blasting caps. Now we're going to go on to the last item, which is the bazooka. And I've been saving this one till last because it's just the most awesome thing ever. And you can fire explosives out of it. And the explosives you can fire is C4, um, nuclear explosive. Um, the bundled C4 and the lava bomb, but only have one of these in the inventory at once because otherwise it won't know which one to fire. And there's no current way at the moment of changing which one you want it to fire, like changing the fire mode of this. It just fires the only one that's in your inventory. So I'm going to fire the C4 now like that, and boom, it flies off into the distance. I'm going to fire it near the ground, and that one actually just bounced off a tree. That was kind of cool. Yeah, so you can fire C4 everywhere, and you can actually spam it really fast like that if you really want to blow up your world. And they all landed in the same spot. That was convenient. So you can just fire them all in different areas, and they'll all explode. And that one landed in water, so it's been absorbed. Uh, but next up, we're going to try the lava bomb with the um, bazooka. And now I'm going to fire them in the air and see if we get lava in the air. That should be interesting. I don't think so. I think they'll just like stop in the air. Oh, we have got lava in the air. Yeah, whoa, okay, that was a bad idea. There's now like a massive bit of lava falling to ground, towards the ground, and it's on top of water, so we're going to get obsidian everywhere. Well, that was a bad idea. Just before that happens, we're going to go to the nuclear explosive, and yeah. yeah. If you saw the size of the nuclear explosive earlier, imagine spamming this 30 times. As a finale to the end of the video, I'm going to just do that. Um, yeah, that, that could be quite a big explosion. I might have... Uh, probably not a good idea, but we'll just go with that and see what happens. Uh, imagine lag. This is going to lag quite a bit. And whoa, look at all those horses. They all just died at once. Okay, the lag is happening. Um, but actually, it wasn't that bad a lag, I was expecting worse. Although, have all of them exploded yet, but yeah. So, it's pretty much updated, and yeah, look at the size of that crater. It's like an oval crater, actually. Probably because they were all spread out in like a line, so they've just made an oval crater kind of thing. And the lava is nearly getting towards the ground now. That's kind of scary. Ooh, lava floating in midair. But yeah, that thanks everything for the mod. So, I'm going to just end off this video with a sunset over a massive crater and just say thank you for watching. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe if you're new here because I upload videos every week and you definitely want to keep in track with those because I just do mainly mod spotlights if you like the, that kind of thing. But anyway, I'll see you next mod video.